Hello, I'm Tatter Damalian. You may recognize me as that guy whose videos you'd watch if you had the time, but you don't. Or maybe you do, but you just have better things to do. Normally, my videos are a barrel of laughs. Ha ha. But today I'm here to talk to you about a very serious issue. Many people, especially actors, writers, and other creative professionals, may from time to time become overworked, or in some cases, underworked, and, due to a lack of sleep and excess of attention, their ego may become inflamed. Now, inflamed ego will oftentimes cut off circulation, especially to the head, causing it to swell with pride. This can be very devastating. Short-term effects of inflamed ego include boisterousness and pretentiousness, whereas long-term effects may include permanent, irreversible unemployment. If you believe that someone you know suffers from inflamed ego, please do not attempt to deal with it yourself, as constant picking at them may cause it to become irritated. Instead, like most inflammation, a cold compress should be applied normally in the form of a hiring freeze, lasting from six to eight weeks. Now there is a related and far more serious disorder in which the ego is ruptured and spreads to most other parts of the body. People who suffer from this condition were at one time known as pretentious gits. However, this has lately become a pejorative, and the more common form is Hamlet's disease, or Ham syndrome. Do not only to the fact that these are usually the sort of actors who perform Shakespeare, but also because the cranium tends to become rubbery and ham-like. Symptoms include standing with the feet more than two meters apart, speaking in very awkwardly phrased prose, or a tendency to misquote famous authors. If you believe someone you know suffers from Hamlet's disease, please call a specialist immediately before it's too late. Only with your help can we put an end to inflamed ego and general pretentiousness. Thank you. This message has been approved by the Screen Actors Guild of America.